Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour. And in this Picasso Show Me How video, I want to show you how to make a collage specifically for using as a Facebook cover photo for your timeline. So like, like this. We're going to start by using the collage that we made in a previous lesson on the collage lessons and then change the aspect ratio. With a little bit of hunting, I found that the proper ratio for a Facebook cover page is 850 by 315. So we'll, I'll show you how to make that fit and how to rearrange the pictures so that it works right. Then you'll export it to 850 pixels and import to your Facebook cover page. Let's do it. To save time, we're going to start with the collage that we made in the previous lesson. And the main thing that needs to be changed is to have it be the correct size for Facebook. So I'm going to edit collage. And we need to change the page format size. So I look here, and I have already added a custom aspect ratio for Facebook cover. And there is another lesson on how to do that. It's 851, I think that's a mistake. It should be 850, but that's close enough to 315. And now this is the right size for Facebook. But there's some, there's some problems here. Now our background picture doesn't fit right. So first I'm going to go out to the library and find that background picture. I have it tagged as a covered bridge, so I should be able to find it pretty easily by searching for covered bridges. Yep, and there it is. So I'll open it up, and I'll crop it. And that same custom aspect ratio that was on a page size in the collage is in a crop custom ratio as well. So I'll just say crop this so it fits a Facebook cover and adjust it so that it has what I want in it, and apply. Now when I go back to my collage, that background picture will be the newly cropped. Now I need to resize these little ones and move them around a bit. And remember, in a Facebook profile or timeline screen, your avatar appears right here, so I don't want to have anything there that's going to get covered up. All right, I think that looks good. So I create collage. And actually, I think I will create new this time so I don't overwrite the one we did in the previous lesson. So now I have a new collage with the exact correct ratio to fit on a Facebook page. But the ratio doesn't mean it's the exact size. If we look down at the size, it says that this picture is 5120 by 1895 pixels, and we need it to be 850 by 315. So I'm going to export. And I just have this place called junk, which I use to export things. And I want the longest side to be 850. And what's the other side going to be then? 315, because we specified that ratio. So I export this. And it went to a folder called Picasa Export in my Chris Junk folder. OK. Now we have to go to Facebook and import it up to there. So here I am in Facebook on our Geeks on Tour page. This is the one I'm going to use to demonstrate how to put in a cover photo. So all you have to do is hover over the cover photo that you currently have in your timeline and click Change Cover. And Upload photo. And now you need to know where it is. I ha It was in junk and Picasa export, right? So there's the one I just made. I double click to bring that in. Now, if you did not have it the exact right aspect ratio, you can drag it around. But since this one was sized perfectly, there's no dragging that can be done. All I have to do is click Save Changes. And now my cover photo on the Geeks on Tour page in Facebook is that collage that I made in, in Picasa. And you could have added text on here as much as you, as you want. If you want to talk about covered bridges, 
all sorts of things you can do. Those are the other lessons. And that's how to use a Picasso collage for a Facebook cover. You change the aspect ratio to 850 by 315. You rearrange and recrop your photos, export to 850 pixels, and then import to your Facebook cover picture.